I think I'm the best ever played in MLS, and that without joking. What's up, everybody, from our AT&T MLS studios in New York City? Welcome on in to This Week in MLS. You guys, I have good news. Kalen Carr made it all the way from Brooklyn yes. to be here today. It took me six hours. <laughs> but he's, he's, You're getting acclimated to your new commute. Yeah. It's, it's, it adds a few, a few <laughs> minutes. It's not quite as straightforward as it used to be, is it? Sorry about that. I know. Yeah. We're here. All right. We're here. We're here. We're good. We're Let's good. Let's go. And we have a, a, a lot to talk about. There were, some, there were some crazy, crazy things that happened in MLS. Are there? Was there really? Oh, yeah. There were a few, There actually. were. There yeah. were. There, yeah. was some, yeah. there were some tasty little nuggets. Um, okay. So today, Kaylin, we're going to play a little, a little word association game. So okay. I am going to say a team, and you are going to say the first word that comes to mind. Wow, this is dangerous. I know because I'm, I've already. What is, the, already what is prepared, producer Paul so like, trying to get? He's trying to get me in trouble. Maybe. All right. Well, maybe. Maybe. Let's see what let's happens. See. Let's, let's, we're living on the edge right now. Okay. So first team up. Okay. Orlando City. Ooh, erratic. Ooh. Erratic. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. I mean, just all over the map. Yeah. They go up against LAFC and then they give up a goal and then they go down and then they come back. Uh huh. It's just, it's a lot. It's a, it's a, it's an emotional roller coaster it, trying to follow I, this team. And I'm not even really that invested. I sympathize with Orlando City fans because that has to be, as you say, some some kind They're of They're so close to the playoffs for the coaster. first time. So, so my word was maybe. Maybe? Like, that's, uh, more, that's more generous. Maybe? Yeah. Um, because, I mean, so they're coming off a 3-3 a draw against New England where they were down, like, two goals in this one, and then they come charging back, Nani, with uh, with. A brace. I mean, and and you get these glimpses, and you know the fact that they were able to get a point against LAFC. You're like, oh, yeah, maybe no, possibly, no fella, but, yeah. possibly, possibly. But they've got so their games that they have left, Kalen, are against Houston, Cincy, and Chicago. I mean, it's not a terrible. They should be. They should win. It's they not should get a in. terrible schedule to finish off the season. They could theoretically still get in the playoffs. So I'm giving it a big maybe. That's that's where I'm at. If What's they going? don't make it in, and with this being this close and this late, will this almost feel worse for them than in oh, years God. past? Oh man, maybe, maybe again. I, th I think it, I think it could be worse. I, I'm, ner <sighs> I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, we're let's, oh, let's move on. Let's All move right. on. Next up, something a little brighter, more uplifting. Yes, yes. Uh, next team up, Minnesota. Minnesota United. One word. Wonderwall. <laughs> Wonderwall. Right? Boom. Yeah. Boom. You feel that? Right. Right in the heart. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I mean, they've been singing that thing they this year. They sure have. Opening up, I mean, it's been the story of the season, opening up Allianz Field. Yep. It, it's like a different club. It looking, really is. Looking at the last couple years, always being compared to Atlanta United mm -hmm. and coming in at the same time, giving up the most goals in league history yeah. defensively. So all of a sudden, defensively, they're Open sound. new stadium, Ico Parra. MLS Defender of the Year. Hey yo. Shout out. Hey yo. Hey yo. Uh, and, also uh, Vito Minone. Yes. Yes. Hats off to you. Yes. Um, but all those guys, I mean, it, it some new stars coming through. Mason Toy emerging late in the yeah. season. They got a good energy, a good vibe. I, I think they're going to keep singing that Wonderwall for a I, while. I do too. My, my word was momentum because they're just feeling it right now. They're coming off a 3-1 win over RSL that actually leapfrogged them in the standings. And so they are, they are looking at a home playoff game right now, which would be huge. We talked about it last week and how, how big that would be for them and how big of an advantage that would give a team like Minnesota. They're just playing with a lot of confidence right now. It's great to see Darwin Quintero starting to score. That guy starts feeling it and getting yeah. hot, and they can uh, score some goals. Do you think he would – who would you take in the dance-off? Because Kai clearly beat Mason yes. Toy. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But do can Darwin actually pick up his teammates slack and try and take on Kai Kamara for best dancer Possibly. in MLS? He's Maybe. got some wiggle. He does have some wiggle. He's got some wiggle. <laughs> All right. Got some wiggle. All right. Next up, FC Dallas. This is an interesting one. FC Dallas. One word, Kaylin. Well, I'm looking at the, I know. the she. Is that yours? That's mine. Okay. Devon, you hit us with yours. Okay. So my <laughs> word, I feel bad. because I shouldn't be cheating off your paper. I know. This is um, a, a revealing about my, how I went to high school here. My word is yikes. 
Yikes. Mm. Yeah. Yikes. Uh, coming off a 4-0 loss to Chicago. Now, Chicago uh, in a kind of an interesting situation. There's a new ownership group that was announced. Uh, new energy. Gonna new energy. They're going to be playing at Soldier Field next year. So perhaps that gave them a little bump, a little boost. Um, but, I mean, they've got – they're below the playoff line right now. They have games remaining against Seattle away they have to play NYCFC again it's just it's not an easy road for them to get above that playoff line and I, I I'm just gonna stick with yikes because I don't know that this is gonna happen I think you said it perfectly so there we go okay sorry <laughs> sorry beer guardians okay next one up New England the New England revolution Kaylin one word that comes to mind De Bruce. Bruce. De Bruce. De Bruce. De Bruce. Yes. De Bruce. I mean. I, well, I mean, the fact that they are even close to the playoffs <laughs> crazy. and around it. I, are they even in right now? I think. think about it. Let's check it. They're there. just Let's look outside, right I believe. I think they're out. Oh, they're hanging on to seven. Just inside. Just inside. All right. Hang on. Fellas. All right. All right. All right. Um, do you know how many times Bruce Arena has missed the playoffs in his 13-year uh, MLS coaching career? I think only one. Wasn't it one, one? time? Yes, one time. Yeah. This is yeah. not going to be number two. Uh, New England. Will get in the playoffs. The point on the road against Orlando wasn't what they wanted because they gave up a two-goal lead. Yep. But it's gonna. It's nice to be able to have these learning experiences. Yeah. Where where Bruce can come in, the Bruce can come in and say, <laughs> "Fellas, not good enough." You know, run some people, give read them a riot act, and then also get a point on the road. Yeah. Which ended up being a good result for them. Keeps them in seventh. Then they get it right. Yep. They're in the playoffs. I think. Mark um, my my word for them was grind because they're gonna have to really really grind this out for the rest of the season if they want to stay above the playoff line. They've got RSL, Portland, NYCFC, Atlanta. These are all going to be tough. Yeah. Going to be tough. I feel but, less confident now. But they're <laughs> scoring goals. They're scoring goals, and I feel like they they have it within them. They got the Bruce factor yeah. and Gustavo Bo and that guy, Carlos Hill, a couple guys. They've been pretty darn good. Yeah, pretty darn good. Okay, so last one, Kalen. San Jose. Ooh. One word. Um, San Jose earthquake. San Jose is. Um, I don't know. What do you do? You have a good one. I do. Well, mine was uh, panic. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I thought I'm you not, said we were keeping this positive. Well, I was trying, but then I'm looking ahead, and they're they're on 44 points right now, and they're in sixth place. Coming off that loss to NYCFC, they've got a tough schedule coming up with Atlanta, Philly, Seattle, Portland. Like, these are not, I, again, it's just like, you have to look at the remaining games and think, what are you going to be able to realistically get out of these in order to remain in that playoff conversation? And I I don't know, they're they're kind of faltering at the at the finish line. It was like they had this surge, and now it's like they're like, P -p 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 -p. You know what their hope is? Puttering. FC Dallas. Their hope is that FC Dallas ruins it. God. San Jose wins it. That's their opportunity for the play. Woo! Um, yeah, that was intense. Yeah. That's good. That mm. game usually, yeah, that's a, that's a dangerous game. Well, you know, listen, we got we to gotta gotta live, live wild, you know? Keep it real. We're dropping truth bombs on Twim this okay. week. Okay, let's get, to, uh, let's get to the Twim takeaways. Yes. Then, Kaylin, so what is yours? Uh, mine's going to be with NYCFC. Yeah. I think this is a team that has flown under the radar strangely throughout the season, but quietly has been able to really climb up the table. Why tables. is that? I agree, but why have they flown under the radar? Because well, I feel that too. I think part of it is that if you look at them compared to last year, they don't have the star striker, mm -hmm. David Villa, although Eber has uh, come in and been fantastic, yeah. Castellanos. I, I think it's because they have they do it more by committee as mm -hmm. opposed to some of these other teams where you have a Joseph Martinez or you have a Zlatan or yep. you, even some of the teams in the Western Conference or LAFC with Carlos Vela. So um, I think they've – and then Philly has taken everybody by such surprise mm -hmm. that they, they've also gotten more shine, yeah. surprisingly, which is kind of cool yeah. to be over – Philly to be overshadowing other sure. teams in the East. But – um, NYCFC has been a, a great story for me, whether it's um, all the different players that have stepped up, but even some young players, young American players, Keaton Parks, I really mm -hmm. like his game. Uh, we met him, actually, during yeah, the Women's World did. Cup at the we first sure at the He watch scored his party. first MLS goal, too, yes. Congratulations uh, this weekend. To Keaton, so. So. Um, I, I think it's a real possibility that Yankee Stadium could uh, host MLS Cup. 
I, I'm a wow. little bit concerned about LAFC in the West. That, that That's a really tough slog. Uh -huh. Whereas I, I think NYCFC pretty clearly has that top Eastern Conference spot. Mm -hmm. They can hang on to that throughout the playoffs. Um, I, I think they got a good chance to hosting a final. And I've said it last week, having spent some time around some of those guys recently, we've done a few BTW shoots. It's just they're they're really light. They're really confident. Yeah. And as you mentioned, it is, it's um, a job well done by committee. They have so much trust in the team and that's what that's the the narrative that all of them kind of stick to is that like it's not just one guy they're not relying on one person they're getting it done across the board um, so you just get a sense that they're it's a it's a pretty tight locker room yeah. right now they believe in each other it's uh, a long way it's you know, it's you know something about that all right what's your uh, what's your takeaway um, okay so um, I, I mean you have to you have to talk about it you have to talk about the LA Galaxy and Zlatan Ibrahimovic the LA Galaxy scored seven goals seven goals in a 7-2 win over Sporting Kansas City Zlatan had a hat trick you know no big deal he now has 26 goals on the season He's two goals off of Carlos Vela for Golden Boots so this thing I really thought Carlos Vela was gonna like Lock this thing up, and yeah. uh, we, we're done. Joseph Martinez is right there, um, and and the Galaxy. They've now they're now in fifth place in the West. So they were sitting just outside the playoff line. They are now in fifth place after this win. I have I I believe that they are going to be in the playoffs, and I said this earlier in the season simply because I think Zlatan himself will like will himself into into the playoffs. Like he will will the Galaxy into the playoffs. I mean, did you hear his quote after the game? Did you hear what he said about himself? I heard about it. I didn't hear. He I didn't literally hear. said, I am the greatest player that MLS has ever seen. Yeah. I mean, it's a shame he, you know, really doesn't have any self-confidence. Well, like, is, is he wrong? Who, who else would it be? I mean, the greatest player. The greatest player that MLS has ever seen. Have we? I mean, what about? To me, the only ones that that are close could be. Uh, What's well, a tricky question, but yeah. I, like, Kaká, World Player of the Year, Landon Champions Donovan. League. Yeah, yeah. No. I mean, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm going. It depends I'm how you measure back. this thing. I mean, if you compare Landon to Zlatan, right. It's not really a fair comparison. Sure. But like within the league, I don't know. It's just. Is I that? Mean, but is that what he meant? I don't. I'm know. the best I player mean, MLS has I think ever it seen. It means whatever the heck Zlatan wants it right. to mean. Like it's like open to interpretation. But he um, he is just he's fascinating, and everything that he does is uh, it just makes for such great conversation and I the, the effect that he has had on this team I mean the guy, he's he's just insane he's yeah. just insane I'm everything he does I like eat it I eat it all up and I want to see Zlatan in the playoffs so badly yeah like it, well, it'll happen now because they have two home games left uh, I would expect them to win both of them they yeah. against Vancouver and, and I believe Montreal no Vancouver Houston. and Houston yeah it's Houston again so yeah. it it's it it, they should be able to. Yeah, I think they'll take seven points off their last four games. Okay. That should be good. Ah, oh, playoff slot on. We All right. We haven't even gotten a taste of it yet. <laughs> excited. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm real okay. excited. <laughs> hit it. Hit it. All right. Okay, we, got, we have some really, what do we got today? really good. Did you? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Is it a shirt? Is it a curtain? I Introducing don't know. the shirtin. The shirt. It's real and it's amazing. How do we get, get one of those? That is unbelievable. Our fans are a different breed. Do wow. you think? Do you think Jim Curtin? You, see, you is... can see right there. It says "liked by CA2" right there. I like oh, that. Oh, you already liked oh, it. I spotted this. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I you did. I DM this to you guys. So yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. And wouldn't it be amazing if Jim Curtin just wore it? Like yeah. On the sidelines. Do you think we could get shirts like this made for us? I would. I would wear a Susanna Collins. I would wear a CA2 shirt. Shirt. Heck in. yes. Yeah. Heck yes. You, we would have to let each other pick which photo. What image? Version. Yeah. Is that I the would same go one for over me, and over again? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For okay. me, I would like the picture of my goatee. Oh wow, you're making and that just, real. Just to make you wear it every to, day. Just to yeah. make me suffer. But just that goat with the helmet, just Ooh. everywhere. All the just. You can't get I enough. You need more of it. When I'd you see it, you it. need more of it. I'd still you do know? it. I'd still do it for you. Okay, this is our other one. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on here. So we talked. <laughs> we talked about goal celebrations <laughs> last week, and like Nico Ladero oh, works. This is a new one. Butt slap. Yeah. Out. What is this? What is this? What's he doing? I think this. Is he just like, yeah, like, I, I, 
I think it's to tell his kids to go to sleep. It's a, it's a warning, it's time to go to sleep, otherwise there's a... He looks so happy and like, just I, loving it. I don't even just know. Slapping that booty, the booty slap. It's like the booty, booty, the booty slap hop. This is the... Um, booty slap jig. Yeah, Uruguayan twerk. I don't know. I don't I, know how you. I don't know I what you call this. I am puzzled by it, but I don't hate it. I like it a lot. <laughs> it's it's, what it's they original. Say? They say dance as if no one's watching. I do say that, Nico. You Nico, do you. you. You keep just you living. You do man. you, Nico Ladero. <laughs> we love it. Here for it. I like that. Um, cool, man. That's our show. That's the whole thing. That's the whole wow. darn thing. I tell you what, coming all the way from Brooklyn for this. It was, it? it was still worth it. Worth it? was still worth it. I mean, yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's a schlep. It's a darn schlep. Guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Let us know your thoughts. Who, uh, who do, you, do we think Do we think that Zlatan's going to win the golden boot? Let us know. Is he the best MLS player ever? Is he ever? the best MLS player ever? And if not, who is? Get in those comments. Let us know. Have a fabulous week. We'll see you soon.